Brooks, the rookie out of Oregon, two-time All Pac-12 Conference Player of the Year, is the Ducks went to the. Played at Dillon. He's always an attack ball. He is never afraid of who he's playing against. Keep an eye on him in the NBA. There's about 15 or 20 rookies, Clyde, this year that are playing really good basketball. Boys, they look like they've been here before. You know, I had a party in Toronto with family and friends. And we were seeing it lower to the first round. I was getting a lot anxious. I said, when am I going to get called? I mean, in the second round. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting angry at the process. I went to every job workout and everybody liked me. Um, you know why I'm not getting picked. And then we get to the 45th pick, you know, Memphis took it. And the first person I talked to was the head coach, Coach Fisdale. And, and it made me feel a lot better, a lot home. We have like father-son, you know, relationship. Uh, you know, I learned off of him. You know, he's been coaching, you know, Hall of Famers, LeBron, Dwayne Wade. You know, he's been around great coaches. Gasol, guard 6'6", Oregon, number 24, Dylan Brooks. My first start, you know, it was, it was kind of nerve-wracking. You know, I was, thought I wasn't going to start after eight games. You know, coach put me in the fire right away, so I knew I couldn't waste that opportunity. You know, I didn't want to, you know, stop starting. I didn't want to, you know, go back to the bench. I wanted to just, you know, keep improving and learning the game and trying to play as much minutes as possible. So for next year, you know, we can be better as a team. Brooks looking for his first field goal make. Got it there off glass. Wasn't easy, but the Grizzlies will take it. You know, if I score 20, my coach would say, try to do it again. And I'll try to do it again. And then, you know, just trying to get better every single time. And then in the gym, you know, I work out with, you know, Keith Smart. You know, he just taught me, you know, a lot of the little things about, like, my jump shot or the way to get to the rim or how to shield off a guy, and, you know, without him blocking you. you know, just the little things that I just try to pick up quickly during the season. Every single day, I was just trying to learn, learn to be a sponge. And that's why I got better throughout the year. The Grizzlies have fired head coach Dave Fisdale in a stunning move. For following the Grizzlies' most recent loss, the team's eighth in a row, Fisdale was relieved of his duty. I never had a coach got fired, ever. You know, I had the same coaches throughout my whole career. And then before even the coach getting fired, they cut a top lottery pick from last year in Wade Baldwin. Uh, you know, and that was just a shock to me. And they cut a first rounder that they put a lot of money into was, you know, a shock to me that, you know, nothing is given, you know, you, you got to get it all, you know, you got to be a go-getter mentality because, you know, you waste your opportunity as, like, a second-round pick or, you know, as a guy coming in that they don't really know about, you know, you're only going to have a couple opportunities and then they're going to label you as whatever they want to label you. But James Harden, you know, was, you know, my welcome to the NBA moment. When we first played Houston, when I had to guard like uh, James Harden, and they told me to guard him full court, you know, every single play, and you know he'll catch you on some moves, and even if you know the coaches are like, you know, take away his left, it's so hard to take away his left, and literally 85% he's going left all the time. It's so hard. And it's just the, the pace of the game is so much too. You know that's the whole thing about 82 games. You get trial and errors every single game. And, you know, that's what, you know, Mike told me, Mike Conley, is that, you know, every game is a learning experience for you. He is a special Canadian. He has a physicality to his game and energy that has made a big difference for this Memphis team. Love the way he plays, and it's great to see him making his mark in the NBA already. At the end of the day, you know, that motivation you first have, it's going it's to wash away, and you got to find another one. And, you know, I just have multiple motivations. A lot of work in the gym, you know, it's nothing that I can handle. And, you know, trying to be one of the best two-way players there is.